Hey guys and welcome to another Pen to Film tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to look at the differences between shoot through or white umbrellas, reflective umbrellas and shooting without an umbrella. Now in Lightroom here I have three different pictures. One taken without an umbrella, one taken with a reflective umbrella and one taken with a shoot through or white umbrella. For the sake of this tutorial I'm going to call them shoot through. And when I say no um, umbrella, you could also say no light modifiers as anything you put around a light, be it a, an umbrella, a softbox, scrim, a beauty dish, they all modify the light which is why they're called a light modifier. So this picture was taken without any light modifiers on it at all. This is just a raw light pointed towards the subject. You can tell that the shadows here are extremely harsh or hard and all the creases here are showing up and the corner here very hard shadows and here in this bottom left the bottom right corner sorry really tired today the bottom right corner there is a lot of light it's uneven from the rest of the picture now this is called hard light or hard lighting and it often used for film noir type photography or cinematography. So that's the raw no light modifier picture. Now let's look at the reflective umbrella. You can see here that the shadows cast are slightly softer and the lighting is more even across the entire picture but in the top right corner you can see that it's extremely dark compared to the rest of the image. Now this is because I purposely angled the umbrella so that it would start here and reflect the light towards this way and this is where it's sort of controlling the light not to go there. Now reflective umbrellas are good for controlling the light because they stop any spill coming out the back because reflective umbrellas are generally coated or there's a black fabric over the back of them to stop the light from spinning through and it reflects all the light towards the subject. And now let's have a look at the soft, uh, sorry, the shoot through or white umbrella, shoot through umbrella. This was using a 33 inch shoot through umbrella, quite small compared to the 40 inch reflective umbrella that I used. And as the name suggests, rather than reflecting the light, you instead shoot through the translucent fabric, white fabric of the umbrella. Now this increases the size of the light source, as is the same with the reflective umbrella. You can see how the shadows in this one are really soft and a lot more flattering if you're doing project shoots or model shoots. And I would use this in a beauty shoot because, because of the pure fact that the shadows are a lot more flattering. On the model's face that is. And you can see how the light is more even across the picture in this one. But not as even as say the reflective umbrella which had an even light across the entire background apart from this top right corner and yeah it's a lot softer and the creases are also a lot softer apart from the top here but there is a lot of spill with these and it's generally good to use a soft box if you're doing shoot through umbrellas because then you're concentrating all the light towards the translucent material in front rather than spilling all the light out the back. Barn doors also are a good alternative if you don't have a soft box. So you can control the light through the umbrella rather than it spilling out over the sides and losing a lot of light. But of course you don't have to follow these like strict rules I think of these myself as guidelines and when you know the guidelines you can start experimenting. So comment below if you've used an umbrella for your photo shoots, maybe post a link to your Flickr or DeviantArt and I may give you a shout out in the next photography tutorial with your picture and what you did. So that's it for this short tutorial, don't forget to thumbs up this video and if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and what are you losing, it's free. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.